What's up and good morning guys, welcome back to another video. SEMA is yet another day closer, which means we've got a million and one things to do, and today we are focusing solely on my truck build because, well, we're running out of time. So I've had to break away from work today to just really focus on getting these little final details finished out. And as you may see behind me here, my sweet center console from Roadwire Interiors has shown up, so we're gonna get this over to Preston's, get it installed. Back here, we've got some sweet uh, pod lights from C4. These are gonna be going in the bumper. And then right here, we've got something I've been dealing with for the last couple of days, uh, trying to get everything in order with. We'll talk more about that when we get over to Preston's. Oh, and we also have the non-painted uh, little fender flares. I don't know what we're calling them. But I think it's gonna be a pretty busy day, and then I think by the end of the day, we are going to actually get the big logos put on the side of the truck, as well as all the back window logos. So that'll be really cool to see, because it's kind of like the, the I don't wanna say the icing on the cake, but that really finalizes the seamaness of the build. So we had a little bit of a change of plans, but it's actually a good change of plans. I just got off the phone uh, with the guys over at Quality Powder Coating, and they said that the back piece of my grill is ready. So we're gonna go pick that up, go back to the house, assemble the grill. That way I would say that is almost the final piece of this entire build on parts that are out. Other than the fact that we are waiting on the bumpers today, which I hope get done today, as well as the repairs on the mirror that was cracked. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I get all that back today and then it is just full blown assembly. Now that we've got this beautiful, grill surround piece back in the proper shade of copper. Let's go uh, start the assembly. We now safely have the grill back in its box and we are ready to finally take this thing over to Preston's and hopefully maybe get it installed today. Uh, I know they're busy installing a ton of other stuff on the truck, but we can finally get our day started now, so that's a good thing. Now you guys may have seen me playing with the amber lights when I was putting the grill back together. Um, unfortunately, due to the way the plexiglass or acrylic is tinted, I don't think the amber is gonna show through. So after SEMA, I'm gonna work on modifying that a little bit that way the fours in amber and all the other words are in white and I think it'll be a really, uh, a really nice touch. Speaking of nice touches, check out Speed Pole's sweet new hats that they sent me and Chris and new logo and then Speed Pole also uh, went ahead and had this badass Yeti powder coated in the transparent copper. And this is the kind of dude that Matt over at Speed Pool is. He said, hey man, I know you want to get some touches of copper in the interior of the truck, so I had this nice Yeti made up for you. And he sent this over yesterday, so thank you Matt over at Speed Pools. We're gonna be getting his pools installed on the truck very, very soon. But for right now, let's get all the stuff unloaded that we brought today. What's up, Zachariah? What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Same shit. You know, I always get happy when I see you. Is that weird? Is it better that I'm working on your truck? Yeah, that makes me a lot happier when I see you. Why are you center console lid, buddy? Woo! Where's my mirrors? Uh, that's a good question. I brought you a grill, though. Oh! Yeah, man. you haven't seen that one yet, huh? There, let me close the door and not hit you. So I don't think you guys have seen the back seats installed yet. Check these beautiful things out. These things turned out so sick. Then my sweet shirt here from Legends Off-Road. The guy that built the headlights and the mirrors. Speaking of headlights, come check out the badass headlights now that they are installed. They look absolutely amazing. Check us out. I'm telling you guys, if you guys want to do something that's going to change the entire look of your truck just by, I mean, small detail. It's, it's not a huge portion of the truck, but changing out the headlights and doing something custom, it's just such a drastic change to the whole look of the truck. And obviously there's a whole front end missing, so we'll see once it all comes together, but these things turned out absolutely beautiful. And they look super sick installed. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to look real good, buddy. 
Love it. You have the old drill shell, right? It's in the yep. back. Drill shell's in the back. It's, it's already back. painted. Okay. It's ready to go. Cool. Fucking <laughs> clean, dude. Yeah, I like that. Clean, clean, clean. Oh, it lights up too? Yeah, oh, yeah. it's still lighted up. Oh, yeah. yeah that was a perfect dick shot right there, Randy. Thanks, no, buddy. I know my way around it, Thanks, buddy. Looking good, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Nice tight squeeze in there, Super tight squeeze. Now you're telling me there's check engine lights on. I better put the. I gotta hook this tuner up to it so I can. Miles an hour is as fast yeah, as I gotta. Hour. I gotta hook this tuner up to yeah, this thing. Miles and blows up. I, don't know. I gotta get rid of some check engine lights. Hey, I appreciate you lowering it down for me now. It was a bit of a jump yesterday when I tried to. All right. So, Mark over at MDDP, Mark Tacola Diesel Performance, has been helping me out with getting the tuning done for my old farm truck here. Uh, I'm using my old AutoCal off of my Silverado, so you kind of got to do a little thing or two on the computer to get it to accept, number one, a new tune, and then you had to update it for the 2016s, because it's obviously different than the 2015 ECM, some stuff's weird. Uh, anyways, I don't know if you guys have ever gone on the back end of these tuners on the computer, but thankfully Mark has been walking me through this entire thing because I would be confused out of my mind. Let's give Mark a call now, see if he's uh, up for the test. Hello? Oh, hello, is this uh, the famous MDDP? You came to the right place, buddy. Hey, uh, just so you know, this call is being recorded for quality assurance purposes, a.k.a. you're on YouTube, if that's okay with you. Hey, that's perfectly fine. So say what's up to all your fans, because you've got a YouTube channel too, which we'll put a link to somewhere over here for you guys to check out. But also, check out MDDP's Instagram page, because this guy drops a ton of free knowledge for you guys, and his stuff is super cool. All right, buddy. I appreciate that. We are... Ready to tune this thing, I think. First fire up. Here's Frost. She runs, she runs, let's see. I'm seeing no error lights. No check engine lights. No check engine lights. Well, I like the air. Nice, brother. I think we did it, buddy. I think we did it. Man, you don't know how happy I am to hear this thing finally fire up. The error code that we are running into is uh, we're trying to read the stock tune off the truck and put it back onto the AutoCal. Uh, with the LMLs, apparently you can't do that. So should you ever need a stock tune, you contact PBEI and they will send you out all of the stock ECM settings. But thanks to Mark over at MDDP for walking me through this entire setup. He made this as easy as you can make it, that's for sure. All right, Zach, well, now that that's done, we're gonna see what this thing looks like in its surround. Figure out how it goes in. Yeah. All right. Oh, do you want to come out with me? Yeah, just put it over top of the other one. Don't you love when they design stuff to be broken, to be taken apart? Mm -hmm. I don't understand that, GM. They coat their frames in wax, too. <laughs> yeah. Eh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, don't scratch that piece. Try not to. Uh-oh, Eddie, we got some competition for you, buddy. Think sounds good. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we're getting kicked out of the shop here. Uh, and unfortunately, we're not going to see the grill get completely put together today. Also, just got a phone call that the graphics people aren't going to make it today to put the graphics on the truck, which is no big deal because today is actually a day earlier than they thought they were going to be. They thought they could squeeze it in today. So no big deal. They're going to be here uh, hopefully tomorrow. Get the big TIS logo or the Dropstar logo on the side of the truck as well as the roll call logos all on the back window of all the SEMA sponsors. Now, because this truck build wouldn't be what it is without some type of curse or some type of issue going on, Looks like my transporter's running into some issues with uh, getting his tow truck that he was going to be hauling the truck out on insured. Now obviously he has the big 7 car or 8 car hauler, but the amount of fuel it would take to haul one truck out to SEMA is just astronomically doesn't make sense. So unfortunately it's starting to look like there might be a chance we're driving the BBB to SEMA, which obviously, you know, the truck is meant to drive and it's built for a daily driver. but. We're not going to have any time to kind of give it a shakedown, and as you guys know, anytime you build something, lift something, put new wheels and tires on something, uh, you know, there's always a chance something could get weird, so obviously you want to have the truck for a little while to kind of shake it down, especially before you go on quite the, uh, the road trip. So ideally, I'm not looking forward to having to drive this thing, so I hope that's not what it ends up being, but we're kind of... We're kind of pressed now to find somebody that's got room on a trailer, a trailer big enough, or somebody willing to uh, to tow that thing to SEMA for me. 
So I know this video was short. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the progress of the BBB build. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on whether or not this thing makes it. If it breaks down on the way to SEMA, I don't know. Now there's so many variables coming into play. Also just heard that the bumpers are going to be a day later than they're supposed to be when it comes to painting as well as fixing the mirrors. We're going to be coming down to the very, very last minute. So make sure you are subscribed so you do not miss any of that. Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com. We've got a ton of new stuff over there. All the sweatshirts are back in stock. We've also got some new long sleeve, high vis work shirts. Uh, I think you guys are really going to like those. So check that out. And also check out DB Customs for their grills. You know, they've been really good on working with me on getting this grill fixed. And it looks amazing now. Uh, you know, just a little tweak on the color and we are good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.